A police chase ended at Darton State College after the suspect made a wrong turn. Fox 31 Sean Stryker connects you with that story. A police chase involving nine law enforcement agencies that spanned through Terrell, Lee, and Doherty County came to an end at Darton State College. I was leaving here and I was on Westover and then I saw all these cops coming down and all their laps were on and I was like, what's going on? Officials were after 23-year-old Jacroy Jenkins who was wanted for shooting and killing his father in Terrell County Friday morning. Police in Dawson spotted Jenkins' car. When they tried to pull him over, he took off toward Albany. We got a call that several agencies were in a vehicle pursuit coming in from Terrell County. And we got a call later saying that the suspect had turned onto Darton's campus. Jenkins headed toward the dorms before making his way back to the center of campus with law agencies still on his tail. And that chase came to an abrupt stop as the suspect turned behind the student center before ending up here at the loading dock. I'm not sure if he was familiar with the layout of the campus or not, but as you can see, he turned into an area where he shouldn't have turned and there was nowhere to go. Having hit a dead end, Jenkins was stuck once on campus. The chase didn't last long. Police didn't even have time to put the school on lockdown. By the time we actually found out where the suspect was, he was already in custody. The whole ordeal had some students fearing the worst. I was kind of wondering if it was going to be like some of the other towns and like some by people going to be firing shots and whatnot. Fortunately for everyone, no gun was found on Jenkins, who faces charges of murder, robbery, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Sean Stryker, Fox 31 News.